on today. I have trimmed down my crepe myrtle. And you can see all the limbs and stuff down there. And I'm going to put that in my compost leaf mold. So I'm going to preserve those. And as you see, this vine right here, this is my clematis vine. So I'm going to just leave that there because I know if you have a clematis and it looks like this, all brown and dried up, do not cut that because that is your clematis and it is dormant. It is resting, it is sleeping, it's getting all its energy ready for when spring comes, then all of this brownness and this yellowness is gonna turn into such a beautiful, and I can't stress it enough, beautiful vine of gorgeousness. Flowers are gonna be everywhere, so do not touch your clematis, just leave it alone. And the other thing that I'm doing is, remember, I said I was going to wait till Home Depot or Lowe's has those $5 um, Arborvitaes trees. Well, I am waiting because I need about one, two, three, four. I need five of them. So what I'm doing is that what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. As you can see. I am going to cut these out, dig this out, and get this pot all prepped and ready. So when I see them, I'm going to grab them, and then I'll be able to just plant them in the pots where they belong. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these pots here, or I may find some new pots, because I've had these pots for at least six seven years and as you can see rocky my um raccoons have eaten a hole in the bottom of this pot so that lets me know that it is time to either paint this or get new pots and if i see something on a good clearance trust and believe these pots will be gone and i will be having some new pots over here. I wonder if, hmm, I don't know, if maybe two of those 17 gallon black buckets would be nice here. Hmm, gonna keep that in mind because I want to be able to, um, be able to put my plants in here. Or maybe I can recycle and we use two of these big grow bags. I wonder what that would look like here. I don't know if they would be too flimsy and I'm not gonna be able to, it won't hold all the planting and flowers and stuff that I wanna put in there. Hmm, I'm gonna have to just think about that. So it's either using this, buy new pots, or getting two of those 17 gallon black buckets. Hmm, what do you guys think? Chime in on this. Tell me what I need to do. Because you know I'm always trying to repurpose and reuse things that's already in my garden. So let me know what your thoughts are. All right, guys. So now what I'm going to try to do, because it's starting to get dark out here, you see all this debris, hostas, and stuff at the base of my crepe myrtle tree. I want to see if I can get all this taken care of, clean it up. And the reason why I cut my crepe myrtle back every year is because I love seeing this bark. See how beautiful that bark is? It is just amazing to me. Look at that. I love, 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 love that bark. And in fall, it just screams beauty to me. I wish I could see that you know, in the spring. I can see a little bit of it, but majority it's covered by all the the um, leaves and stuff from the crepe myrtle. So, all right, guys, let me try and start working on this and see what I can accomplish. All right, before it gets too dark. I have finished this area. I've taken out two of those 
arborvitaes to make room for my new ones and I cleaned up at the base of this crepe myrtle see all nice and clean I just got to pull a few more weeds and then as you come on this side I was able to get this section all nice and clean it looks a whole lot better versus what it started out with and I still have to clean underneath the base of that um, azalea bush and then I came over here and I took out that arborvitae so woohoo I'm getting it done you guys I'm getting it done and the next item of business is I gotta go through the, ar the um my arbor and clean out all those leaves see what happens when you clean out your area the birds come and they want to participate and see if they can find worms in the area that you just cleaned off which is fine I don't mind but I'm done you guys woohoo let's take a better look at it from a distance looks beautiful I love a clean area it just screens your garden just looks so nice and inviting all right so next spot gotta find those trees clean that area and I'll be happy and then I gotta get rid of all these um, grow bags that I had my bell peppers and stuff in I'm working on it I'm getting it little by little I will accomplish it because I think I got like three more good days and then I'm, we're gonna have, supposed to have some rain and then it's gonna get really cold so I'm gonna try to button this area up as quick as I can just so it can look you know at least clean and and weeded and put together so when spring come I don't have to do a lot of work that's what it's all about reducing my workload because I have so much area to cover I've got to start streamlining and taking out things that I know do not need to be here anymore and so that's my mission all right guys let me show you my inspirational rock and that is how we will leave this video today all right let me walk over here and this is a rock that a friend gave to me and it says they whom we love and lost are no longer where they were before they are new forever in our hearts isn't that beautiful see and it has a a rustic butterfly on the top a beautiful saying to keep in your heart all right guys have a wonderful day have a blessed day and miss renee will see you in the next video get you up close and personal so you can see it a little bit better.